Hello. Dr. Sandra Rodriguez Pineros has been presented with an UFRO Outstanding Doctoral Research Award here at the 24th UFRO World Congress in Salt Lake City, Utah. These awards are presented for path-breaking doctoral dissertations within six years after the completion of the dissertation. She joins us now to talk about the award, about her research, and about UFRO. Congratulations, Dr. Rodriguez Pineros. Thank and you. And th welcome to our little show here. Thank you. So please tell us a little bit about your background. I've sort of hit the high points there. What is, what is your background? What, what have you majored in? Okay. Um, I'm originally a forest engineer from Colombia. Uh, I have a master's degree in forest economics from Oklahoma State University and a PhD in environmental science with um, uh, topics on forest management. Forest management. Now, what does winning this outstanding doctoral award, what does that mean to you? It is a personal satisfaction. It is a reward to my hard work. And also, it is an encouragement to keep doing the right thing and to keep doing research clearly and apply research. That's what I like to do. Now, the award was, was presented to you for your dissertation. What was the subject of that dissertation? Well, it comprises two, three aspects of forest management. Part, uh, community participation, indicators of sustainable forest management, and people values. Uh, I integrate all of them to be able to develop a forest management plan that will serve to a small rural community uh, for the development of the community. Now, you're focusing, I believe, on community forestry and participatory approaches to, to the idea of sustainable forest management. What are the advantages of those approaches? Well, one of the problems that we have when we work with communities or when we do a participatory um, meetings or participatory forest management is that participation is a challenge and sometimes it takes endless discussions. So the methodologies I use, I combine two methodologies and that help to reduce the time of part, uh, discussion, to involve people's values into the discussion without being a problem, to reduce conflict and to make the process transparent and also integra integrated. And, and this is mainly aimed at developing countries. Is there, is there a reason why specifically developing countries? Yes. Um, first of all, I, be, I come from a developing country, from, from the tropics, and we manage the forest in, in the community setting. So we have a lot of people living in the forest. And I happen to do research in Mexico where the community forestry is also a big, um, a big issue, or not a big issue, it's, it's a big um, topic. A big in part Mex of, the, a big of the way they do their forest management, I think. There you go, uh-huh. Yeah. Correct. Now, as you look ahead, where do you see your career taking you? Um, I'm currently a university professor at Universidad Autónoma de Chihuahua, and I'm so pleased to be there because I am close to Sierra Tarahumara, so I will be able to do research with indigenous communities. And I see myself helping my students and helping them to do research, to and train them. And in, in the academic uh, field? Yes, to train them and to do to do the academic and to apply what they learn in the classes to apply it on the field because that's what we need. Okay, now you have had past experience with the UFRO. Yes. I am told that you were an intern in Vienna some years ago. Was that a worthwhile, a valuable experience? It is and it's, it's continuously <laughs> been a uh, valuable experience. Um, I understand being there that what it takes to have a community of scientists together. There has to be a lot of administration, coordination. I learned it when I was there in the headquarters. 
and also I was able to be close to the state-of-the-art research and from now on EUFRO is my main source of search when I need to know what is going on and what is new in the forestry field. That's good to know. Now, what do you think is the main thing you will take home from this Congress? Um, I, I go with a, a lot of knowledge that I can share with my students and colleagues um, and also with a, a people, you know, with the connections of people, with a Networking, network, yes. uh -huh. mm -hmm. thank you, with a network of people, of researchers to be able to do collaboration and ask them questions and just to share what we do. Okay. Now, do you, do you think it's important to integrate social and political sciences into forest research? It is. Actually, the title of, of this Congress kind of gives us a hint. Yeah. It is sustaining forests, sustaining people. And if we don't integrate the social science into forest management, we're going to keep having problems. So I think it is important to understand the social construct to be able to help people the way that we all foresters wanted to do it. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. It's been great. Thank, Thank you. you.